Today I'm going to tell you about my irrigation system. Probably the most fascinating part is that I didn't even intend to have an irrigation system when I started buying the parts. I'll show you all of that and show you about the broader project with the pond. I don't really know where this video is going. Lots of things to do out here today. Let's get started. Frogs are going crazy out here. Yeah, we've got a bunch of frogs. Now you'll notice the pond is quite low. That's, uh, yeah, that's the primary focus here, to try to get this pond dry. You can see the pump over there. The sun may make it hard to see, but you should be able to see the pump over there and see the suction line into the water. I bought a four inch trash pump, big pump, to empty the pond here. Didn't know how long it would take. Uh, you know, I didn't know even you know how deep it would be when I got started. I think I've drained about a foot out of it, maybe, maybe a little less than that. After buying the pump, you know, I planted all this grass seed out here, spent all that money on it, and, and just kept watching it die. It just, it just wasn't doing well at all. And I said, I, I have no irrigation. It's not practical to irrigate it. And then finally said, well, maybe I should look into it. You know, maybe, maybe there is a, a way to irrigate it. I have this fancy trash pump. Maybe I can make that work. Now, I'd already bought this four-inch line with the intention of going right there to my standpipe. The idea was that I would drain all the water out of the pond right in here to this drainage pipe, drainage tile, as we call it here in the Midwest. Yeah, that's supposed to be on top of there, but I'll work on that at some point. So that was the idea, but then I thought, this seems so futile to be draining my pond here when all this is dry up here and I'm and my grass is dying. I didn't really want to spend any more money on it, but I decided I don't know, I just couldn't bring myself to, to running all that water down the, the pipe. So yeah, looking into it, I really didn't didn't know how to solve the problem. My trash pump is not great for an irrigation type rig. You just can't generate enough pressure with a trash pump. Um, talk more about that maybe in a few minutes here. But I did look around and find this irrigation rig right here. Again, this is not sponsored. I don't know if you've noticed, we're doing a lot more non-sponsored product on this channel. I guess let me know in the comments section, would you, would you rather see sponsored product or not? I, in some ways, I feel like the folks who, who just are bent on saying that we're always trying to sell you something are still saying it and at the same time those of you who enjoy seeing the sponsored product enjoy seeing the discounts and everything may not be watching as much or may not be getting uh, you know as much satisfaction out of not seeing as many sponsored products so I guess it'd be interesting to hear your comments on that but anyway this product not sponsored but it's a big sprinkler 1500 H quite a rig I put there there's three separate nozzles come with it I put the biggest one in either 14 or 18 millimeters I can't remember but I think it's just less than three quarters of an inch I was a little concerned about this because my pump is a four inch output and that sprinkler takes a two inch output so let me show you the contraption that I built to get from four inches to two inches. I use quick couplers on, on both ends. This is a very expensive piece here. It was only available in aluminum from my local pipe store or whatever. There from four and then a four to two and then uh, a two inch quick coupler on that end. And I bought another hundred foot of two inch pipe. Had some concern that I'd just, you know, I'd be flooding it with too much water, uh, damage the pump. I don't know whether I'm going to damage that pump or not. Uh, I know that a trash pump is not capable of generating a lot of pressure. I knew nothing about trash pumps a year ago, so let's let's just make it clear that I am by no means a water pumping expert. 
but the way these pumps work from my understanding is that there'll be a, a, a lot more tolerance a lot more gap between the fins of the pump and the and the outer shell or whatever it's called on a trash pump so that they can handle trash they can handle um, mud and grass and everything and it won't hurt the pump well the downside of that is that they won't generate as much pressure they'll generate a lot of volume at low pressure so they're meant to pump a lot of water quickly a lot of trashy water quickly but they're not great at generating pressure however for me it's turned out to work fine I'll put some gas in it now and fire it up it's a Honda GX 390 engine I think the the whole trash pump model it's all Honda brand it's a WT 40x I believe is the model number of the trash pump yeah I'll fire it up here on the first pull of course it always starts on the first pull I just choke it now, it hasn't run all night so it'll take a little bit probably to prime it but I'll walk out here and show you the uh, irrigation head. It's not primed yet. It's got a foot valve on it, but it still takes it just a moment to get everything primed. What I want to see here is if I've got any kinks in the hose out here. Ah, I hear it. I'll have to be careful or I'll get wet, wet, wet. I think it looks really cool from behind. Now in a minute it will show really dirty water. After it sets for a while, the mud settles into that foot valve. Like I say, it's almost a three-quarter inch stream. I haven't really stepped it off or measured it, but I think it shoots about 100 feet. And we could put higher pressure to it if I had a better pump. I'd better get out of the way or else I have to keep walking in circles. But 100 foot radius, and when I looked at the spec sheet, uh, about 100 gallon a minute at 40 PSI, which is probably all the pressure I'm getting to it. See if I'm far enough away. I may not be. It's not looking good. I'm gonna get my feet wet. The wind really impacts the circle, but uh, yeah, that's just part of it. I just have to try to account for the wind if I'm wanting to get a particular area watered. I just watered that same circle yesterday so it's not really like I'm particularly worried about where I'm putting it right now. Okay now we're getting finally the issue that I need to talk about. I'll have to show you this it'll be noisy but uh, basically I'm going to show you that where the inlet is positioned right now. Uh oh. It's already running dry. So as you can see, and probably hear, I don't have enough water getting there to, to be able to keep feeding it. So because of that, I'm going to take the back over here and try to dig a hole in a deeper spot, move the pump, and see if I can get some more of this water drain. realized I don't even have the loader on the tractor. I can't put it down to help with stability. I thought of that before I backed in here. I doubt I can get out now. But it's actually more solid than I thought. I don't know that my hydrosplus.com street pads are really uh, necessary today. I don't know if you can see it. The haze is so bad in the air from all those Canada wildfires, I guess. But there's a ledge out there that I want to take off. Whoa, I can't keep myself. 
I'm out of the water. This may be done. I may have to, I may have to hook another tractor on just to keep from pulling myself into the water since I don't have a loader. There was a little bit of kind of topsoil uh, sediment on there. It looks like we got down to the yellow clay pretty quickly. Whoa! Yeah, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go find another tractor before I end up in the drink. Okay, I've got the 4075R, which we still have. Uh, got it attached up there with the Yankum. Probably not the number one use of the Yankum, but hey, it's, it's gonna keep me out of the pond. Well, it gets back started digging now. I think it'll work a lot better. Folks, unlike Kevin at Hydros Plus, hey Kevin, don't be afraid to use low range. Low range gives you a lot more control with your foot pedal, a lot more power. It just uh, makes it a lot easier to do close up work. My thinking is I can chain this up down here and just pull it that way. Got frogs jumping everywhere. There's gonna be some unhappy frogs in a little while. Who knows, maybe, maybe within a day or two. Four inch line holds a lot of water. It's way too heavy for me to pick up. Maybe taking the parking brake off would help. Had a fish in our... Oh boy, I didn't even know we had fish. Keep that loader low, Tim. Or not. Moving two tractors out of the way at once. Okay, okay, I was just playing, come on. I am a little lazy, so two birds with one stone there. Yeah. Speaking of two birds with one stone, that's the whole point of this project primary ambition here was to get the pond dry. Secondary ambition was to save my grass. I'm really encouraged actually that it's so dry here. I didn't think it would be dry enough here to get a tractor in. Because that was underwater just a few weeks ago. As I probably should say, my biggest concern is being able to get this pond dry enough to work in. I'm not sure we'll be able to do that.
This time we have only 100 foot of four inch pipe running to it. Before we had 150 feet of four inch plus 100 foot of two inch. And I think we can noticeably see the difference. It's really shooting her this time. Now one thing that, I guess a negative thing that I've learned so far from this experiment, there's no way we can irrigate our yard from this little pond. It's not nearly enough water because I'm going to be able to suck this pond dry and we're not going to have you know, nearly enough to, to water our yard really even once, and twice at the most. Now, if we had the pond totally full, yeah, we'd probably have enough water then, but we'd end up with a dry pond. So the only way we could do that is like supplement it by watering from our well into the pond or something, because it's, it's 100 gallons per minute here. It's, it's amazing how much water it takes, how fast. I'm right at the edge, almost going to get pond water on me. Well, I see one dead frog and two dead fish so far. So the plan of record for our pond is to drain it and try to dig it out some way. We're going to try to fill in at the ends, both ends, with the dirt that we get out of the middle. And we also need to try to make it so it'll hold water all the way up to the surface. I've been watching Neil with Dig Drive DIY on the pond he's building. and. Uh, it's been quite educational. If you haven't seen that series, go check it out. And I think it helps us to understand what's going on with our pond, why, why, it's, why it drains down to about three, four feet. I suspect we need to put that clay around the outside too. Problem is, I don't know if I have the right equipment and uh, I can't find a mini excavator. Uh, I, I guess I could rent one, but the way I work is a little bit at a time. Renting is just not cost effective for me. So I guess if any TTWT viewer uh, knows of a mini excavator that I could borrow, that would be fabulous. But beyond that, I don't have a dozer. Um, you know, and, 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 and you know how it is. I really like to do stuff like this with a compact tractor just to see what we can do. But having watched what Neil did, it's, it, looks, it looks major. We have toyed with the idea of just filling the pond in with the housing development that now is coming, I guess, next year. It's delayed again there would be plenty of fill dirt that we could just have them fill it in. Very difficult. We think a, a, a well done pond could be beautiful here. We think an ugly pond like this one, well, is ugly. <laughs> I hope you found this interesting. I was kind of dragged into the irrigation concept a little bit at a time. It's, it's the, the trash pump's not optimal for irrigation, but it works surprisingly well. A lot better than what I read that it would work online so you, you've seen it here thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time on tractor time with tim come and see what god has done his awesome deeds for mankind he turned the sea into dry land they passed through the waters on foot come let us rejoice in him